What's going on guys, Zach Spock, today I'm guys, the way you should be using SMGs, more precisely, the way you should be using the CUDA. Now, I've made, this is probably my third or fourth video over the CUDA. I know I've made a class edit video, I know I made a video yesterday on, you know, how to rank up fast with SMGs, more so talking about the CUDA itself. And, and the gameplay behind you is going to be the same gameplay I had yesterday, because I kind of think it's a really good gameplay, and it sort of like, you know, shows everything you need to do and need to not do. Um, whenever you're using the CUDA and, you know, just the, get, the point of multiplayer is try to do good. So you always want to do good in multiplayer. Um, and I think that personally the best submachine gun in the game is the CUDA. Now, I think I'll make another video about why it's the best. But in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use the CUDA. Or, you know, more so how to use an SMG like the CUDA, which, uh, just use the CUDA. You know, the CUDA's, in my opinion, the best SMG in the game. And this is why. Now, Although you usually wouldn't see, you know, a gun being the best if it's, you know, the first one to unlock, like, you, like obviously, like uh, back in the day, like the AN94 with Black Ops 2 is way better than the MTAR. But like in this case, it's kind of not like that. It doesn't really matter. Like, there's no way the Razorback is the best SMG. But you know, I mean, it's a, it's an SMG. But I think the Cuda is the best SMG for your average player. Now. It's definitely not going to be the best SMG for playing like competitive or something. Uh, it may be, but who knows. Now, I know a lot of people in competitive usually use the Vesper or the VMP. Um, a lot of them usually stick with the Vesper, but that's, you know, for people who are like, you know, they're pro. It does have a lot of recoil. It's like more... It's more, I think the Vesta is more sort of like a shotgun than it is a submachine gun. Because, like, you have to be pretty up close. Or if you're pretty far away, unless you're, like, tapping with it and you have, like, a really good uh, a sight on it. You're not really going to be getting a good, like, sight on an enemy so far away. You know, too much recoil. The iron sight on it isn't the best. Uh, it's an SMG, so it's not even going to do that much damage if you like, if you're a mile away from someone. But uh, the CUDA... I'm going to show here, even on screen, I'll show you a clip of uh, a guy had an M8A7, the best or the top, uh, like the top tier. Um, I'm not saying it's the best, but it's the top tier, like in the ranks of the um, M8, of the assault rifles. The M8 is the last one you unlock. And he was shooting at me, but I overpowered him with the CUDA. So you shouldn't doubt the CUDA. It, it goes pretty long range. Now, if you spray, it won't. I mean, it will, but you're, I mean, unless you have like godly aim. Um, just tap with it kind of like CSGO you kind of just want to tap with it like as you can see on screen here I do take the guy at the car out But the attachments that you want to use on the CUDA is the ELO because Although you could use the regular side on it You know the ELO kind of just makes every it kind of like shaves everything down for you makes it a little bit easier And for me I do I perform ten times better with it um, with the ELO rather than the other side and then the second one you have is quick draw. Now this is because if you're, you know, you one of those players who grind out nuke town like I am, you're gonna want to put on quick draw because not only is it an SMG, but you're gonna want to be, you're gonna be with a map like that. It's not like you're playing Redwood or something. You, you're gonna want to be kind of the fastest one on the map. So you're gonna want to have quick draw. Uh, so although it's SMG, you can, you know, pull it up ten times faster. Now grip, you're gonna want on grip now. Although it's an SMG, you, you now have grip and an optic. You have the ELO and the grip, which makes it an SMG. And, you know, if you're far away, it, it, it'll work as an assault rifle, no problem. Uh, kind of like the Peacekeeper. This, this gun really resembles a Peacekeeper in my eyes. And the second one you have is Rapid Fire. Now, with this one, you could change it up, but I mean, you could put Long Barrel on it. But I'm going to keep on Rapid Fire. Just, you know, I would take off Rapid Fire if I was playing a bigger map and you still wanting to use the CUDA. I would put on Long Barrel. But in that case, I would just use like an AR, like the Man of War or something. But uh, if you're just going to ground out Nuketown, uh, ELO, Quick Jog, Grip and rapid fire now for the perks which you know you can change this up but if you're playing nuketown you're gonna want to use overclock fast hands and blast suppressor or gung-ho uh i would use uh gung i would use you know gung-ho but if you're playing on a bigger map that's not nuketown i would use blast suppressor which again in that case you shouldn't even use the cuda if you're playing on redwood or something um Okay, so I'm already four and a half minutes in this video, and I'm just explaining the class. But you're gonna want to use it just like an SMG. You're just gonna want to run around the map, pull up your gun fast, and you know shoot them. Now, a few mistakes. You're gonna want to make sure the enemy's dead. Okay, you're gonna want to make sure the enemy's dead. The CUDA is the best gun. Which actually, I'm just gonna make this video like the same. How to use the CUDA and CUDA's the best gun. I'm just gonna make it the same video because you know there's no need for like 500 different CUDA videos. But the CUDA is a really good gun. It's a really good SMG. 
it like if you just compare it stats even you know with those little white blocks at the bottom i mean it's it doesn't look like the best but it's literally the most evened out like for the razorback like the damage isn't that high the fire rate is you know sort of medium but the range is really high and the accuracy is really high with the pharaoh it's kind of evened out but you know that even shades itself down considering it's only a four round burst now with the vesper you know the fire rate is really big but you do have a fair amount of damage. You don't have much range at all. And the accuracy, that all depends on you. Um, if you can hit them or not. But, you know, it's just no. <laughs> and then with the Weevil, you have a really high fire rate. You, damage isn't that high, though. You don't want to put on rapid fire if you use that. Uh, but, you know, I'm just, you know, telling you guys. The, the Kuda is most evened out. And then it kind of makes it like a super gun with all these attachments. And if you use it the way I tell you to, which is play a little bit more defensively with the gun. You know, whenever you're peeking around a corner, don't don't go around the corner and then pull up your gun. Like, you want to, like, pretend like you have stock on it, which is an SMG. You're already going to be moving fast. But, like, if you're, like, in the middle of Nuketown where the bus is, you're going to want to, you know, aim in, then move out. You know, check in every corner, like, check in the right path, uh, then check in the door, and then check in the garage. And then you want to, like, rush in and do something. But uh, that's just, you know, I'm just kind of telling you guys how to use it. So, I want to say I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> this will be the last CUDA video. I'm not going to be spamming you guys with any more CUDA videos. Anyways, I just want to show you, you know, once again, just sort of like a, mm, a sort of like recap of, you know, the class setup I'm using, how to use it, uh, why it's the best. So, this is one gigantic CUDA recap video. I really hope you guys enjoyed Tell me what you guys want to see next, because, you know, the only thing I have going on the channel right now is a Nuked Out series, which I only have two episodes of. But that's the only ideals I have, but... If you want to recommend anything, go ahead. This was Dax, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.